having a dog is, well, a lot. Yes, a lot of cleanups. Very humbling. And training. Sit. But a lot of fun. Good boy. Well, if you haven't caught on by now, this is my dog, Tucker, a golden retriever. And while my wife and I think we've given him a pretty good life, the reality is that not every dog is as lucky. And the question is, should our government be doing more to protect dogs? For decades, we've had this problem. Ingrid Segerman certainly thinks so. She's a lobbyist with the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or the ASPCA. Specifically, she wants Congress to compel the Department of Agriculture, which inspects dog breeding facilities, to inspect and fine breeders more for violations. They basically have this program of inaction. They're hardly ever issuing fines. We didn't just take her word for it. We looked at the public records, which you can too at USDA.gov. Last year, there were only 11 administrative actions by the agency involving breeders. And while some fines were issued, this one's for over 12 grand. Some were just warnings. This is just an official warning. The ASPCA says it would be nice to believe that more dogs are getting treated like Tucker in our country, and that's why violations are low. Sadly, she doesn't believe that. More fines are needed, she says, to keep more dogs happy. Minimal fines just don't work. It doesn't have a deterring effect. It doesn't actually deter that facility from violating the law again. And that's where the Goldies Act comes in. We want to warn you, these next images are tough to watch. The act is named after this unnamed, malnourished golden retriever in Iowa. It took 18 visits and six months for the owner of this facility to have his license suspended by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This precious pup eventually had to be put down. Goldie's Act would order the agency to inspect more and impose stronger penalties. A bipartisan coalition in Congress is expected to try and include it in this year's Farm Bill, legislation that happens every five years and often makes policy changes at the USDA. It would basically make the USDA do its job. As for the Department of Agriculture, we did reach out to them for an interview. They would only give us a statement that said in part that they take the welfare of animals very seriously and noted that they are already inspecting and fining animal owners after investigations. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.